welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Emily, with Ranky Plans. And as you guys can see, um, I have something to show you. So um, one of the things that I have really wanted to buy for myself is a pow, blackout notebook. So um, I actually went to Michael's yesterday and I had seen that they had a blackout journal um, online, but I never like bought it. Um, and I was cruising around yesterday because I was trying to find these wonderful stickers by Chrissy Ann Designs and Shine Sticker Co. And I found them, I was really, really excited about that. Um, and I saw that they had the blackout journal. It was only $10, I will link it for you um, so you guys can go check it out. Um, but what I really like about this um, journal is that, again, it is all blackout. Um, and it's also not dot grid or lined. It's just blank, smooth, thick, nice, heavy cardstock. So um, what I want to do um, is I wanna start journaling in this. As you guys know, I mean, I'm using quite a few different journals right now. I am using this um, Erin Condren um, soft cover notebook as well as, here. I have an Archer and Olive bullet journal that was gifted to me for my birthday by my girls Meg and Myra from Planners and Wine. Um, and I have done a couple of things in here, like I wrote out some goals. Um, I'm supposed to be doing my mood tracking, have not been doing that. <laughs> um, also my reads and um, that's about it so far in this one. But I do plan on doing more in this, but for now I am just really into um, my this blackout journal. So I'll kind of show you guys like a quick little flip through of what I've done so far. And then just some things that I did go ahead and purchase to go along with um, this, this blackout journal here and how I intend to use it for some memory keeping and just daily journaling. So as you can see here, I did go ahead and start out. Um, again, I did get three really cute sticker books from Chrissy Ann Designs. Um, I'll do a flip through of these, but the thing is I've already used some stickers. So some of them are gonna be missing, but again, I will go ahead and I'll make sure that I do get that um, done for you guys here. Um, and then I also did get another one um, from Shine Sticker Studio um, that I thought was really cute. Um, my Michaels for some reason really doesn't have a lot of these, so I'm missing a couple. But anyway, I took stickers from there and I used a picture of myself that was taken recently and I really just kind of did like a sticker collage here since I mean why not right so um, the next thing that I did was I did like a little pen test swatch page um, with some um, sharpie markers um, that I did buy and also I did go ahead and purchase some uniball um, signo pen gel pens as you can see the gel pens, I have to make sure that I wait before I turn the page, uh, but not so much with these ones. So I feel like the Sharpie markers do definitely, um, uh, they dry really quickly. So, um, and then also, like I said, I'm just doing some journaling um, and using some stickers. You know, if I feel like going back through and coloring and things like that, then I definitely will. But if I don't, it's no big deal. Um, I'm gonna flip through. Okay, and then also, you know, I wrote in some goals here. I really don't have like a rhyme or reason to how I wanna use this. I just know that I like to write and I really wanna do junk journaling in my own way. So as you can see right here, I did my book of the month stuff right here since I do have that subscription. Please excuse my mom's dog in the background. He is protecting the house. <laughs> um, and then also, like I said, like I did this spread yesterday, um, since I did have admitted student day uh, a few days ago that I did for work. So what I've really been looking for is um, markers that I could use for um, this journal. So I'm gonna set that aside and I wanna show you guys what markers I have purchased. So. The first one is this um, Fiber Castell Artist Pen um, in gold with a bullet nib. Um, I really like this one. Um, I haven't written with it yet, but I did just go ahead and purchase that today. Um, so as you guys can see, it's got, oh, it's got a really nice um, like fine nib, a little finer than um, the Sharpie markers. Um, and then I did also get a silver one um, that has that same fine um, nib to it. I promise y'all, he'll start, he'll stop barking at some point. Um, the other ones that I did get, um, I did go ahead and purchase some more Sharpies. Um, so let me just go ahead and open these real quick. The reason why I got these, so the first pack that I originally got 
was only the bronze, um, silver, and gold. But then I saw that this one has blue, green, and red. So I really wanna make sure that like I'm gonna have you know, different colors that I can use and also just have fun with these markers. So I did go ahead and I purchased these. Um, and then I went to Office Max and I got some more metallic markers. So this one, it's a broader color palette. Again, you do have the gold, silver, and bronze, but there's also a red, purple, kind of like a blue, a teal, and a green. So um, I'm really excited to see how these pens um, kind of um, look. <laughs> there they are. I'm really excited to see how these pens um, look on this paper. And, you know, because, you know, I did buy all of this and I'm showing you guys all of this. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch this stuff. So that way, if you do end up going and getting this really cute um, blackout journal, then you already know what pens to use and, um, and how they will work. So let me go ahead and get to some swatching. with these um these are the fabric castell pit artist pens um definitely in love with these because i do love a fine tip um so definitely these ones are going to be my favorite and more likely these are going to be the ones that i use the most the sharpie pens of course a very very close second i mean a sharpie pen is a freaking classic so um i definitely do really like these ones i feel like the their colors for red green and blue really didn't show up all that well um but i feel like in a pinch like if i want to color something in or something like that or just go ahead and write in it all depending on what it is for then that'll be fine um so we'll set those ones there um okay so i'm pretty sure you guys noticed as i was writing with these the office max markers um, are great and um, super juicy. <laughs> so I know there are a couple of other planner chicks that do utilize the term juicy and these bad boys are juicy. So, um, but I mean, I'm still gonna go ahead and use them. Um, I will definitely be looking though for more of the fiber, um, 
Fiber Castell. Um, oop, I spelled that wrong. Um, I'll definitely be looking for more of the Fiber Castell um, pens. Um, I would love to get some more colors in these just so I have, um, you know, more that I could write with. Um, but other than that, you guys, I am really excited for this journal. Again, it's gorgeous. Um, I, this is dry. Okay. Um, and again, you know, the fact that I'll be able to do stuff like this um, in this journal is going to be um, a lot of fun. So yeah, that is what I have. So um, again, um, thank you so much for watching this video and also listening to my mother's dog bark incessantly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a squirrel out there or something like that that just really upset him. <laughs> so anyway, um, but again, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy this, um, please make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. And also tell me in the comments, have you ever used the Blackout Journal? And if so, did you finish it? And what did you put in it? Um, don't forget to, if you do like content related to books, planners, and also just creative projects and crafting, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. Um, and um, if you want to be notified whenever I put up a video, make sure you do hit that notification bell. Um, so that way you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. So I just said that twice. Way to go on. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.